<laughs> Straight from the burning flames of hell, a place where all assassins dwell. Sold myself to the devil, but I changed my mind now I want it back. But he won't cooperate, so now it's time to jack. Caught ripping straight jacket, number one assassin is fully stressed. We bail through hell in khakis, looks and black scully caps. So say ain't gone this posse full of demons and witches. We met up at the abyss, ready to slaughter the bitches out. But wouldn't you know, Satan went out like a sucker. So I left the mansions in blood to be continued, motherfucker. This program contains graphic material, including offensive language. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, hi. Ooh. Yeah, bitch, that's our shit, too. Stop motherfucker playing, talking about who you motherfucker took what, bitch. So all you do is steal motherfucking crimes. Oh, you a bunch of criminals. What? Gangsters, wanksters, studio flunkies, junkies, monkeys, stupid ass, backbiters, bad pictures. Oh yeah, get off me, bitch. Get off. I'm stepping on crabs. What? Give me high. Let's go. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you like me. Gonna respect the dog. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. It's the dog. If this is your first time to Swoop Reactions, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, like, and share the video. Now, we're about to get into it. Now, last time I did a reaction, you know, which was my initial reaction, I did a non edited video. It turned out to be a while, it was like an hour and a half, something to that effect. You know, still a really good video, but obviously, you know, I did it in a rush. I was trying to catch up with all the, you know, mofos who already knew it was coming. Apparently, they already knew it was coming. They they knew everything or knew a lot for it to be 24 hours without any confirmation of who the hell, you know, got got. You know, what I'm saying could have been anybody. You know, as far as we knew, like it's still far as we know, there has not been no official, you know, officials declaring S-Bone to be the so-called guy who died, all right? So we don't really know who the hell fell, okay, outside of, was it, what was it? What was the address, y'all? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just coming to play, play, some, play some flowers, but I think he was found down there, though, is what they're saying. Yeah, he was, um, I'll get a phone number. This is 666. Six, like, uh, just on the side of the road? Six six three six. If you could, if you could say six 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 without saying six six six, it would be six six and three sixes. I'm telling you, uh, that, that's 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 wild. Let's go. In front of the six six three six. On the side of the road, in front of the six six three six. Six six three six. Fourteenth Street, Fourteenth and L Street. Hmm. So very um L Streets. Matter of fact. Let's just go into the name, right? Because there's a lot in your name. And all we got to do is just match up the numbers here. Because y'all know um, all this stuff is coding. You know, all the words are connected to numerology, right? So words are numbers. Numbers are words. So when you're speaking, you know, there's a code. There's a numeric code that you're blabbing out. And, you know, the majority of us either know it subconsciously or completely in the dark about numerology and how the correlation between numbers and words go now let's go ahead and go over the numerology on the name Esbon or <laughs> my bad not Esbon his name is not Esbon his name is Orange if that's how you say it properly I'm just gonna call him Orange you know because he got the I see the orange up so, or Orange here, Orange as Bone Mofet, also may be called Orange. The ordinal number for Orange, aka Orange, is 61. Now, 
is also connected to 34 in the reduction cipher. Now, these are the base ciphers to any Gematria calculator, okay? Which is the ordinal and reduction. There's two other or there's two other um, ciphers for a base cipher search, okay? And so when I typed in fake death, because I did a um, I did a poll asking y'all. Is this a fake death or not? And a lot of y'all voted and y'all told me how y'all felt. And I'm thankful that my audience is, is um, you know, not a bunch of idiots, you know, because I have uh, I've seen a lot of polls being taken and a lot of channels being, you know, taking polls and taking data and, you know, just going over the chatter, you know, in y'all minds. And sometimes it's hard to believe the crap that people believe y'all and the mass delusions so when i put up certain questions to ask i'm just really checking out temperature just seeing you know how bad it is as far as the delusion <laughs> so the uh, you know a lot of people aren't as sleep as the masses might be thinking or we might think so you know not all of us are sleepwalking or walking zombies, you know, for lack of a better words or lack of a better, you know, analogy. <laughs> now, like I said, orange or orange, or no number 61, and it's in the same cipher with fake death. So fake death and orange lines up in multiple ciphers. They might as well be the same word damn near. Well, at least they're the same words in Gematria. Now, what is also 3 4, right? What is 3 4? Skull and bones. 3, and then you got 2 2. You add those twos up, you got 4, so you got 34. And also, if you add that all together, what do you got? The number 7. Now, if you add that 6 plus 1, you have 7. So, really, what we're looking at is two sevens 7 7, or just 7. So, orange literally means seven in Gematria. Now, if you see the date he was born, it says February 2nd. So, February is the second month, second day, that's 22. And then you got 1977. So, he was born in the 70s. 77 to be exact. Just like we've just been going over all these sevens in the seven, if you flip up and if you flip upside down, that's six or the nine from 1977. If you flip that around and add the six and the one, what do you have? A seven. Or you could say that you have two sevens, uh, you know, from the February 2nd, you have two sevens. Now, Let's get into this, y'all. So we have sevens in both the birth date and the skull and bones as the number seven. Now, what else do we have here? We got another seven with 16, right? The 16, August 16, that's eight, one, six. So that's, you know, one plus six equals another seven. And then you have another seven with the two th 2023 so what's two plus two right oh matter of fact that's three two two right there ain't it in reverse two slash out the zero then you have two three so two two three in reverse is three two two skull and bones all day and if you add all that up 2023 is again seven so we know that Adam is a G, okay, which means gay. If you're speaking about specifically Freemasonry, Freemasonry promotes uh, gay homosexuality, pervert, transgender, Satanism um, all throughout their literature and their practices. They, uh, you know, worship the devil <laughs> in a sense. Now, we all know that. Those who are, you know, of age and who study, you know, do your homework, do your research. So 
those of us who have done our homework, who have done our research, done, done our due diligence, you know, we look at these fools like S-Bone, you know, got laid out on curbside. Actually, it wasn't, wasn't even no curbs where that dude died. <laughs> oh, all the L's. Yo, the dude took a L on L Street. <laughs> took a L on 14th Street. On no, 14th and L Street. Oh, my goodness. That, I mean, the jokes write themselves. And then 7. What's a 7 upside down? An L. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I did, hey. Hey. I didn't expect that one to come out. So, died on L Street. Which is an upside down seven. Holy. Mm. Now, I was sitting here talking about Adam Graham Mason. We already know what's time and with Adam Graham Mason. Satanist, pedophile, atheist. Uh, atheist is a Satanist in Jamatria. So we, we just X that out. Get that out your mind trying to say, oh, it's not the same. Yeah, it is. You know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out either. It's, it's crazy that we, we sit here and we have to go back and forth on such little stupid thing. However, I say all that to say this. So, let's look at Adam's clones, because y'all know Adam got clones around him. Now, normally, everybody who comes through No Jumper has a clone. Now, we know who S-Bone clone is. That's Crazy Bone. That was the first Bones member who No Jumper interviewed not too long ago. Go look into Crazy Bone's wild interview. That was very wild watching that i ain't broke that down i'll probably take a whole nother who knows y'all know how uh crazy bone and bone thugs that break break down steady breaking these fools all down i need to remix that Ooh. anyway always uh <laughs> so now that we know for sure who's s bones clone who's adam's clone now if y'all don't know adam's clone is vlad tv and who's Vlad TV's clone? Milk TV. Now, Milk TV, Vlad TV. I mean, that don't ring no bells. And then Milk 74, Adam 22. That don't, you know, the, the similarities just don't scream out. They all look alike. I'm pretty sure they're all Jewish. No, they're all the same individuals. Both, all three of them are homosexual gay men who date inverts. OK, they 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 inverted perverts like Mika and Lena, man. OK, <laughs> these are all inverted, perverted dudes, crossdressers, she males. Do your homework. So all y'all dudes who are in the office over there fantasizing about smashing uh, Lena, the butt plug. <laughs> Listen, Lena, the butt plug is not an ordinary, you know, canary. <laughs> let's just keep it let's just keep it PG-13 right now oh sheesh for uh, Lena the Plug Wack 100 <laughs> um did you enjoy it it was a really good time <laughs> oh I mean Dang. he's a professional <laughs> big old smile on oh, his face I feel like I'm beating my grandfather who's disappointed in me no no <laughs> disappointed no you he's guys are just he's disappointed in you you guys are just like Different, not different, a good different. What do you think of this trio? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't get in trouble. <laughs> Yo, right? right? You know he's brainstorming transgender. <laughs> hey, it do it different. Oh, okay, God. rappers with trainees, man. Oh, God. Why is this the topic? <sighs> Let me see, man. Hold on. Oh, rappers Lord. and trainees, man. Uh, oh shit, young and jock in there? Yeah, young yeah. buck oh, yeah. in there? Yes. Don't put my nigga blue face out there like that. Oh, you yeah, ain't doing that. Oh, okay, God bless your heart. <laughs> so blue face doing that. <laughs> hey, I'm just telling you, I heard through the grapevines. Shout, you heard? Out, they had shout out to Jacob them. Houghton. He sent 449 euros. He said, love back on Fig, watching from East London. London yes, in sir. the building. London in the building. Hold on. What story did you hear about Blueface? Let's back this up. On the blogs like you looking up right now? I ain't, but I ain't never heard that, though. 
You hearing it now? So From you. So you ain't got no facts, so why are you putting it out there? I didn't say What you mean, you? You just said Blueface uh, was messing with the tranny. Uh, Look at this. Cassidy exposed by... Come on, man. Training exposed rapper Cassidy. Like, come on. Man, dog. let's see it. Like, man. Let's see like, what they nah, I don't want to see it. Like, come on. They probably bro. got facts. Hey, you don't know. Shit. We know about this nigga right here. He getting called. He didn't hey, got caught about sorry, three, four, on. five oh, yeah, trainees. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, you What's are. this, man? <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God, dog. He got multiple pictures. Come on, dude. You ain't right. You nah, that's not cool. Not my boy. Who? Is Who? That? Uh, okay, okay. I mean, I don't know, bro. It was a wobbler. I didn't know. Yeah, it's a, I don't know. Is that? A, oh, okay. This is crazy, dog. I didn't know this many rappers. You know, they did 50? that. Nah, that was they no. were just doing Young Buck, man. I, I mean, <laughs> do y'all do y'all care or not if niggas is gay and rap? Like, I don't know. Like, do you care if your favorite rapper was like, you know, was like, you know what, I'm gay, bro? I I would care because you lied to me. You 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 uh you uh yeah yeah um you um you 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 didn't tell me the real. I thought the real you I knew, and now I figured out I don't know you. Like okay. I thought I did. Do that I mean, you'll be mad at him. Yeah, do that make sense? Yeah. Like this secret network. We all know each other. Secret network of people who sold their souls. Yeah. Welcome back. It's the dog. So, you know, we about to get right into it. So, I got Heather and Trail. All right. So, it is no way, hombre. If you take a long look, <laughs> you're going to know that's something just ain't right so um yeah heather and trail did a live on a channel called back on fig with milk 74 and they got to talking about transgenders and you know they act like they're just so oblivious to the transgender pandemic in california and i was like hmm why would y'all be so oblivious to what's going on around you Oh, it's because you're a part of it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You're a part of it. You know, you clearly, clearly, uh, if you look at uh, my man's um, trail and Heather, you will know something. You'll notice something right at the back uh, trail. Your, your girl, I know she's smaller than you in height, but she's bigger than you and everything else. Now, if you slow it down, look at this thing's shoulder. Look at how Heather's shoulders look. The shoulders are wider, even wider than that fake ass. Okay? Yeah, you see, bitch look like she wearing goddamn shoulder pads on. What the fuck? It look like she coming outside uh, with goddamn lineman equipment on. Big ass shoulders. What the fuck going on? Boulders for shoulders. Look, you can tell this thing used to pumping his own gas. <laughs> Fucking dude. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hang on. Let, let me let me not look so manly and let Trail do something. Come on, come on, get on and shot. Look at Trail's little shoulders. Look at his tiny little shoulders. Look at his shoulders. He got tiny little shoulders smaller than his waist. That ain't no masculine trait. That's not no man trait. I'm telling you, look at the dainty ass shoulders. Look at his shoulders. Look at his shoulders. Look at his head. His head is smaller than his bitches. Look. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it, all, all it would take, all it takes is a little bit of, um, what is that? Testosterone and estrogen mix up concoction here. And look at, he, look, he and his, uh, little, uh, pie capo phi, what is he pie capo phi? So he's, um, he's a frat boy. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know how they get down on them frats too, man. I'm telling you, uh, hey, I, I, it'd probably take me an hour to break down all the bullshit that's going on in these fraternities, okay? Hey, if you go back and look at school days, um, y'all remember what was going on in them frats, how they was passing, how, how my man, the Dean of Pledges, uh, DP, Big Brother Almighty, how he was um, passing his, his bitch around. That was his bitch, too, his main bitch. He was passing, he he, he was letting the whole frat tap it, okay? So, hey, hey if, um, if you think Dean... Big brother trail ain't passed this thing around. You crazy. 
it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, you, let them know why yeah. you dropped the ball. At least you got a good reason. You look good. Oh, God. Please. No, you really, you look really it's good. You know what I'm like saying? That. Got your I red got hair weed, in. Got the weed. And I ain't got the weed. Oh, I got the weed. You a like bad one. Don't always be straight in here. Yeah, you a real bad one, man. Show the people how you looking, man. Get your put. Let, let me see, man. Yeah, come on, show them this Sorella, man. Rella. Let's see what it do. You know what I'm saying? Custom jacket. Yeah, who? You know Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The girls in here, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you really fun. So the dress is from Sorella. I love y'all. I love y'all. The jacket is from uh, one of my seamstress that made it for me. It's called Yeah. Hart. A crop car heart. Let's talk about it. The boots are my friend Jalen's. Uh, <laughs> she let me wear them. Get them pretty little things. Yeah. And my girl Symphony did my hair, and Louie did my makeup, and yeah, that's the fit. Two. Oh, somebody put the big old eyes. Like, damn. Uh -uh. <laughs> you are crazy, or crazy with a big K, cause <laughs> I got time today, Loke. So a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So what is this picture telling y'all? It's telling me mockery. You know, look at this uh, thing right here, Heather. Oh, we're gonna call it Sanders from now on. Look at this thing. Look at Sanders popping willies like a fucking dude. It's very masculine. Uh, does a lot of masculine shit. You know, runs a store like a boss babe. You know, all this bullshit. Look at popping willies. Now look at that face. <laughs> you know, look when the hair's all pulled back, all you're gonna see is a big face. Big head, masculine, nigga bitch. That's all you're gonna see is a, a fucking dude. Cause that's what it is. It, look, look, look at this dude, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. Are, are, is that is this thing, is this what y'all wanna come home to? I wouldn't wanna come home to that. The fuck? Um, also, um, let's look into Sanders history. Who is Sanders, right? Now you you uh you you already know um you know birds of a feather flock together and y'all remember um where this thing came from Sanders uh was the right hand to uh both Black China and you know who Black China is connected to the Kardashians and if y'all don't know the entire Kardashian clan is a whole Hollywood inverto converto situationship okay yeah from the father to the mother to the to to Kim Kardashian Kim him. Okay, uh, yeah, Shem, <laughs> that's what y'all dealing with. Um, you know, you, you dealing with the, the Kardashian clan. A lot of y'all wouldn't understand. A lot of y'all are in denial. You know he's brainstorming transgender. Yeah, yeah well, I, yeah, you're gonna find out more about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one it's of like my no, many ideas. No for now. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, listen, I didn't go watch the Lena, the butt plugs uh, video, y'all, y'all, was pretty graphic in y'all descriptions of it. I don't want to see that. I'm not interested in gay porn. <laughs> oh, listen here. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, all those porn sites that y'all watching, especially the one called Blacked. Oh, y'all, y'all gonna black out when y'all realize the truth about that site. That site is nothing but inverts for the majority. I'm not, I can't sit here and say all of them are, but. What I'm going to say is a lot of them are, you know, exactly what <laughs> it is versus what you may think it is from the so-called appearance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below. Um, I've done a video on this. I've done multiple videos on this. Y'all don't watch my videos. So y'all in the dark, y'all, y'all in darkness, you know, in the these guys are cleverly keeping you in, you know, a charade. They're keeping you out in the parade of idiots that subscribe to them. And they're leading you down to a pathway of uh, self-destruction and corruption. Now, before I get too far into the lesson, you know, I put on my professor, you know, Fez. <laughs> and then turned into, you know, the master teacher on oh, y'all. My bad. Uh, anyways, um... Yeah, before I get off on that, I wanted to play this clip from y'all to show y'all, you know, um, why Adam Grant Mason is a bonesman as well. Let's roll the tape uh, from when Cheddar Bob, a.k.a. Milk Seven Fold, pulled up the skull. Time out, time out. Passing the motherfucking fence on the play. This old hillbilly-ass black nigga gonna let this stupid 
retarded, milk stepping, looking like ass nigga, knock this nigga to the floor with one hit, nigga. What the fuck going on in the world Ooh, today? Man, niggas better get they Ooh, squabbles man, up, my nigga. <laughs> Ain't no way in hell. I'm going to go on there. Let this nigga or take an L to a nigga like this. No! Nigga got this nigga drunk no! walking, standing up. Knock this nigga silly. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas better get y'all shit together. Y'all here going down bad, my nigga. Let white niggas like this beat the shit. Hey, he done, bro. He done. He done, bro. He done. Hey, beat it, beat it. Bye. I'm gonna leave off so I won't be inside the premises. Niggas be happy. You know what I'm saying? Look at 7 now milk seven right milk seven which is also indication of freemasonry you know after he you know did the show and was all buddy buddy you know and best friends with adam and all that and had this little long questionable conversation just to turn around and have a fake beef with him that drove his popularity up through the roof because no one likes Adam-22. Adam-22 is a creep. He's a Satanist. He's a sodomite. No one likes him. So anybody who goes up against Adam-22 is going to get some fans. You know, if y'all don't understand. So, Milk rises up really, really, really fast. Like, overnight. Twice. You know, is a... Uh, he was exposed for having fake subscribers. And then, you know, he just got the subscribers right back. Y'all ain't never gonna see no plaque because like I said, his subscribers just like uh, Adams and the rest of them, it's all fake. It's all fake subscribers. They're all fake. All of them. They're not real. They're just NPC, uh, MK Ultra mind control puppets. So we got sevens across the board okay if we have sevens across the board what are we dealing with here we're dealing with a script y'all already know the script let's log in and see what's the script come on we're dealing with a scripted reality a character that was made for a specific purpose and what was the purpose a ritualistic Sacrifice. This nigga gonna sacrifice the homies and all that. All right, so y'all heard it for yourselves, y'all. Um, <laughs> yeah, the sacrificing of the homies. Apparently, you know, Californians, especially, you know, these um, Crips are very, um, <laughs> they're very knowledgeable in the sacrificing of their homies. You know, just like neighborhood hustle, Nipsey hustle. You know, a lot of people said that was, you know, a sacrifice and that people around Nipsey elevated and went to different levels in their life after Nipsey passed, such as like Cowboy, you know, Cowboy went from sweeping lots to buying lots, you know, <laughs> you know, a lot of people gained position and, you know, they, they gained you know, popularity and all kinds of shit. 
Now, Espo, boom, 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 boom. You know, he went on rants and he came out and he told a lot of stuff about his personal life. Like how he don't come for nothing. He broke. You know, he a croak crip. He ain't one of them rich rolling crips. So he don't have shit. He never has shit, according to him. Now, if you don't have nothing, I don't know why you start, you know, fronting like you do or fronting like you you need that or put yourself in a position where you have to ask that from a devil, you know, and this dude went on no jumper without a penny to his name. According to him, he don't got no money. That's what he said on no jumper. And I'm broke as a mother, but my, I guess YouTube is picking up or whatever, you feel me? And I'm just really being myself. Right. You know, it's like everything ain't about a check. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we want some money, but me, I can't speak for everybody. Everything is not about a check. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And it's like people, you can't buy respect, can't buy love. You can just buy material stuff. Right. Trees, alcohol, <laughs> fake love. <laughs> And people are saying Adam paid S Bone thirty five hundred dollars cash. Yeah, and most of the time, uh, Adam twenty two doesn't even like to pay for interviews. More, you know, nine times out of ten, he's doing the interview to get you exposure, and it's not doing nothing for him. But at this point, when Adam's, you know, doubling back on needing every crib he can get, he definitely is starting to put his little bag out there. Especially, he doesn't have to pay so much to have that podcast being ran now. Because he has lower level hosts. He doesn't have AD no more. When AD left, AD's price went out the window. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Motherfucking Brick Baby is not getting AD money. We all know that shit. But that's another story, right? So right now we know the cheap ass white boy paid up 3500 bucks, right? And that's bullshit to keep on a whole crip war going on. Because we know S-Bone's got shit thick. With 600, which he's a bitch. Cop 600. Hit my panel, cop. But yeah, so we made him go live in the morning. But he's got shit thick with cop 600, with Iceman, with a couple 60s, with a couple 40s. You know what I'm saying? Shit's a little janky in the hood, right? But we're going to watch all this footage together tonight. I already got it logged in. I got it ready to go. We're going to share the screen and all that, right? <laughs> Let's get back on track, y'all. So we got S-Bone, Bone, Bone, Bones. S-Bones got uh, took to the boneyard. <laughs> got sent up north. 2366. Well, no, it's 6636, which is pretty much 666. And he also got sent to the L Street, which is the seven, right? L upside down, the seven streets, the seven sign, the seven, the G, the bones got sent up north where they replaced bones with a pool of blood on the curb. Or on the pavement. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. I mean, it's pretty obvious, you know, through, um, y'all could go back and look on the first video I did. And, um, I went through the gematria on the back door and how that correlates the ritualistic sacrifice, why it's where it's at and all that. I went through that in the first video, so I'm not going to go through that in this video. Technically, there was a million and one reasons why S-Bone would have got, you know, what he had coming to him. So, you know, and then this is a Bones initiation, clearly, you know, so wherever he's at, we're never going to get him back, right? He's going to disappear just like Block Boy did. So, you know, the takers took him. <laughs> oh, um, all I got to say about all this, right? Is um, it is what it is, y'all. Don't get too invested in these uh, characters. Don't allow these energy vampires, because that's what Adam Twenty Two and a lot of these fools are. Witches and warlocks, they're energy vampires. They're getting you all riled up and worked up while they're sucking the life out of you, literally, for um, you know, spending a lot of time and energy on this. Who gives a flying fuck about this funky? No one would give a flying fuck. You know, unless this dude was, uh, you know, wasn't this um, psyoptic, masonic, 
you know, puppet. And that's really all it is, y'all. It's a, it's a puppet show. It's a freak show. It's a, you know, it's just chaos. It's, uh, all right. So let's get into the signs and symbols from S-Bone. So S-Bone is clearly right in front of us throwing up this sign, the three sixes on both hands, right? When you're popping his collar. Now, that's an old Masonic sign right there. Everybody who studies masonry, Freemasonry specifically, they know how they throw the fingers up like this. Why would a crypt be doing this? You know, especially with the red and blue on, with the red apples. What the hell is that? Why, why would a crypt be walking around with a design like this? That don't make no sense. Some brip shit. <laughs> this ain't crypt shit. Protect your energy, you high power crip. L listen here, there's one thing for shit show. All you high power crips, y'all are gonna get the Nipsey hustle treatment. Every high power crip I've ever seen out in public gets the Nipsey hustle treatment eventually. Okay, ain't no such thing as a positive crip. Crip means coward runs in packs. Okay, crip rest in piss. Yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> ain't shit positive about crip. Ain't no damn Crip Street. Y'all want to be Paru Street so bad. You already know. Listen, Paru is Crip in reverse. Well, technically, Crip is Paru in reverse. When you lay the C on its back. So, <laughs> yeah, don't, um, don't get snapped and ripped in half by one of my homies. Because, <laughs> look, we, we, we don't take kindly to crabs. Inverted and perverted and satanic in nature. That's exactly what you are. Now, the Parus have their issue. Um, I believe the Parus are related to a lesser demon or a demon that serves the devil. A lot of, um, I've, I've heard uh, the, the, the so-called, oh, the Parus are the devils. And that's a fair argument. You know, I ain't ever going to make no argument against my own identity. As far as being a blood or being part of the nation and, you know, trying to, you know, bring solutions instead of bitching and whining about the current condition that we're in and where we're at in that current condition based on where I see myself in the future versus, you know, where I come from, which is South Central Minneapolis, to be specific. Now, it wasn't no cakewalk being from over here. I know a lot of y'all from South Central LA might be like, oh, you had it so easy and blah, blah, blah. Y'all want to have a struggle Olympics. A lot of y'all want to have the struggle Olympics like S-Bone. He wanted to get on his soapbox and talks about how much harder he had it versus everyone else. And, um, you know, I also hear that Sam ain't one person bigger than the program. <laughs> S Bone didn't feel the same. So, like I said, there's so many reasons to get rid of S Bone. <laughs> there's so many reasons, y'all. And um, y'all delusional to think what you know happened didn't happen, <laughs> allegedly. But at the same tip, the suspicious nature is the reason why so many eyes are on it because. Why would the police be hiding it? Why would they be so, you know, shush? They ain't even uh, say this dude's name. Just like in Black Boy's death, they didn't mention Black Boy's name. The entire, every news article I ever seen, allegedly, with this dude, I never seen no paperwork or no article, like no credited article from any major news platform ever speak about Black Boy. Okay. So, if they ain't speak about Black Boy, why would they speak about the Rolling Funky dude? Y'all got to put two two together here. Let, let's keep on going. So, <laughs> we got the PYE, Protect Your Energy. Protect Your Energy from who? The blood sucking energy vampires like Adam-22? Who you went in his den of lies and... <laughs> Put yourself on the board for them to score. You know, you pretty much walked into a trap. You got, you know, zapped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm talking about, oh, I'm not worried. I don't know why the hell you wouldn't be worried, bro. That's crazy that you wouldn't you wouldn't be worried going into a Satanist, you know, building, a Satanic Satanist Grand Mason's building. After he done talked all this shit about him online. He just was like, oh, he's just going to be, it's, 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 it's nothing, right? And then he presses you all on the interview. You look like a, a idiot. You look like a coward. He's sitting there, you know, he turned you to a coward who runs in packs without your pack. You ain't all that. <laughs> and when a top G like Adam, <laughs> you know, came and said you was speaking spicy. Sir, yes, sir. How you feeling? Let's get right now. Adam 22. As bone. What do I owe? <laughs> for this invite <laughs> i like this guy he might have had a few spicy things to say about me but uh i wouldn't i don't think it was spicy no nah, i mean my standard for spicy is pretty f high at this point okay fine. yeah who said no i wasn't spicy it turned he turned that all that pressure was down when you went up into that office even though they clowned the crip identity they brought a so-called crip max said that tony willwich the the female who transitioned into a male just to play gay. <laughs> the Fafa Fiend Crip, another one, and also Bitch Baby, another, you know, transformer. These Decepticons <laughs> go on No Jumper and co-sign uh, so-called actively homosexual five dudes gangster Crip, because y'all know that they ain't criminals. So the, the gangster Crips, <laughs> just because he lives on the south side of wherever the hell. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Never been put on, but they, they ain't care about none of that. They said, you know, we got respect because uh, he's from the community. We can't do nothing to him because if we do anything to this active Hoover, active op from another state, <laughs> they can't do nothing to him. <laughs> they said to each five own. <laughs> I can't make that shit up. But anyways, <laughs> let's go back to this. Let's go back to this point why I got the why I got this thumbnail up, y'all. So we got protect your energy from the energy vampires, right? So they take that and pervert it by drawing out these letters the way that they got it drawn out. Like, look at that P. Don't that P look, you know, suspiciously like a D? It looks just like a D from where I'm looking at it. Especially how he got it, you know kind of angled down and stuff you definitely see a d now i was like huh <clears throat> then i try to find a match between p y e and d i e or d y e and guess what they're all connecting they're all connecting in the same numbers in the same ciphers hmm even going further d y e the ordinal number for DYE is what? Three, four. What's three, four? Seven. So we got DYE on the shirt, which is seven, which is Freemasonry. Uh, we got S-Bone. S-Bone and DIE is 44, which is eight. Now, he died in August, which is the eighth month. So, yeah, it's it's no coincidences okay it's just causation and correlations all right um yeah well, let's keep on going I, I, i'll you know we'll go go ahead and um <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take a little giggle at that because it's, it's hilarious to me you know sometimes you got you got you gotta laugh at this and um you know not take it so personally because a lot of us man we're gonna get our Get the energy just zapped right out of us by this energy vampire known as Adam 22, the fool. You know, like everything ain't about a check. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you want some money, but me, I can't speak for everybody. Everything is not about a check. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And it's like people, you can't buy respect, can't buy love. You can just buy material stuff. Right. Trees, alcohol. Fake love, you know, they laugh at your jokes that they feel like whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And me, myself, I just always operated different. I'm not nobody like that. I like to build kings. I don't want yes people around me. Right. Like, if you around me, I want you to call me out if I'm wrong. Y'all hear this nut-ass nigga? 
<laughs> Get on no jumper talking about if I'm wrong, call me out. Uh, all them Crips was telling your ass you was wronger than a motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, 600, the dude who you call an officer love boy, he more good in the funkies than you are. He running around, running your hood like how C-Mac did with the 30s. C-Mac took his ass over into the 30s and was rampaging around that motherfucker like he ran the place. It even came out on that interview or whatever the fuck that was, right? Demonstration or whatever uh, C-Mac was doing in the 30s. It came out that C-Mac got one of the 30s DP'd in jail. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck is the French fry, the fairy French fry going to get the dude who's a hood hopper, who's no good his damn self. How's he going to get a, a homie from 3-0? You know, in any kind of snuggle, <laughs> as y'all would say. <laughs> that's that's how I knew the three O's out there were compromised. Them Harlem Funkies ain't one of us. And then on top of it, who is the 30s direct ops? Hmm, the 20s and BPS, BPS and 20s, RTBPSN, listen, NH, F, and all that. Listen, the, the 30s fight all the bloods, all of them. <laughs> not like you friendly ass neighborhood hooks like uh crab mac you know crab mac used to identify as a blood so i'm just saying he used to have a red rag and all that and he get on here fived out around the rolling 30 crips are y'all kidding me <laughs> the rolling 30 crips here this dude five and all day and they have you know flashbacks of their homies getting slayed by <laughs> the fives <laughs> my guy listen <laughs> i yeah i couldn't believe they let this op he literally a op they letting this op goblin rampage through their hood and talking about the 30s to 100s and that's what they they co-signing that the young tramps the young harlem trifling dirt crabs <laughs> is out there hanging out with the op <laughs> Ooh, yeah 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 let that sizzle in your spine <laughs> oh, so let me get back to S-Bone, right? Because I say all that to say this, right? So S-Bone was caping for C-Mac, went so far as to say he's catching fades for C-Mac. He about to run a fade with King Yellow over motherfucking C-Mac. And he over here caping for the gay interview he did with uh, well, C Mac did on No Jumper, and he had the nerve to run his mouth about Adam 22, the Satanist pedophile, Jew, fed, all that, a porn star, you know, all around degenerate. He went and he went and said this about a dude who got a bag. This dude got a a, a stupid bag, you know, and he's known for putting bags on people's heads. Now, why would you? Why would you, right, somebody who's no good, somebody that don't have his support of his community, someone who's out bad, outside, doesn't have nobody, and you broke, you get online and talk about Adam 22, the sat satanic Jew, who's also an, a Crip affiliate, you know, a.k.a. honorary Crip. On Lantana Block, Crip and Crip. So as you can see, Adam Graham Mason is not no goddamn civilian. He's a Crip affiliate. Um, not only that, but he employs the Crips. I remember one time um, I was watching an um, a interview he was doing with C-Mac. And C-Mac uh, called him his big homie, his big crody. He says he's his big brody, his big crody. Come on now. So I was like, okay, we clearly see who's, you know, behind the finances, who's behind, you know, the, 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 um, propaganda machine of the crips you wilding a little bit bro well what got you to that conclusion so a couple of things number one uh the the ruga thing was bad bro mm. that was yeah, bad the, you, you, how did he he's a grimy gd that one how, see you throwing out people's <laughs> gangs this is what i'm talking about i gotta you, keep it a thousand this is the new adam where you gang banging and you no, no 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 i'm not gang banging. right and not only the Crips, but other so-called gangs, too. He's trying to get his 
you know, street cred up. And look, you the perfect dummy that stumbles across this table. <laughs> now he got the drop on you. Exactly. And you be trying to set motherfuckers up too. You think you slick. Exactly. And you be trying to set motherfuckers up too. You think you slick. <laughs> he talking about, oh, I'm not. What 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 did um what did Adam two tell you when you got there? Hang on, let, let's play, let's play the clip. How you feeling? Let's get right. Now. Adam twenty two. As bone. What do I owe <laughs> for this invite? <laughs> I like this guy. That's that's wrong, why I had no qualms about doing an interview with you. Right. Because actually, me seeing you have the balls to say something about me made me like, oh, that'll be an interesting conversation. I you were a little worried. You thought it might be a setup. No, nah, I ain't worried about nothing. I got you know. I'm all, I'm, anybody that know me, I'm always ready to go. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, he was ready to go, you know, and they sent him. <laughs> oh, yeah. The the Crips, the honorary Crips and all that. They sent this nigga up north, way up north, all the way up to the upper room. They nipped him in the bud like they did Nipsey, the gypsy. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better hit the subscribe button, man. Hit that like button. I'm telling you, you ain't gonna get it nowhere realer than right here on Swoop Reactions. All right, so here you have it, y'all. We got Faustian. So Orange, also known as Esbone, is in front of the orange background with the devil. Now, if y'all don't know, a lot of the individuals on and off YouTube in in this dude's inner circle like AD Trail have all referred to this guy as the devil. Adam, I'm concerned about you, bro. I'm concerned that like you really been on some white devil lately, man. Really? People, you know, think you the devil. <laughs> Cause he is. <laughs> <laughs> that shit sounded like some devil shit. It was, cra it was crazy that people, were, but people were sending me that shit, and I was like, "They mad at me now." And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? And I was like, "Oh, why? Cause you fuck with the devil? They think I'm the devil now." They was like, <sighs> "Hey, these ignoring the signs." Adam twenty two, a known Satanist, Jew, pedophile, and et cetera, et cetera. Right? So <laughs> it behooves me on. Um, why the police would be going to uh, 600's house, right? Oh, let's let's knock on that 600's door and ask him what was he doing and where was he at and all that. But you know, ain't nobody went to go have this conversation with Adam Twenty Two. At the end of the day, when these lights click off and we walk out this door, we still gotta go walk through the streets, and you still gotta make it home. You still gotta do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. I ain't walking around looking over my back on my mama, but it's some dudes that's. They on borrow time mm. because you playing with the internet. It's not only a million people watching this, it's police and all that. You a man that's doing your bit, doing what you want to do. You don't want the police knocking at your door. No. With you? No. You having it your way. Doing all the shit you want to do. <laughs> Got jumping through loops and hoops. You having it your way. You don't want the man to come with your program. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. But you don't have to. Uh, run your business or something. This is your business. Mm -hmm. It's up to the people that come here, however they conduct themselves. If they want to say, yeah, I just, down the street, I just blew this head off and all that. That's on them. Right. You feel me? It's a double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? That's why I've always said, you know, you gave people opportunity to grow their platform. You know what I'm saying? I made a video a couple of years ago, probably last year, and I was actually suggesting that before you and, 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 the, and the prior uh, employees parted, I was like, you know what would be smart? If they wrote a contract, if they wrote a contract. Your intellect is as weak as your dollar. Failure is your destiny. You disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. I mean, if, if I had a, you know, I'm just saying, you know, I just got a hunch that, you know, the rope gang goes deep, man. And, um... <laughs> They're able to do their Jedi mind trick on these cops and wave around some of that dough and, you know, get all these cases, you know, gone. The investigation was dropped. The interest, you know, fizzled out, you know. <laughs> they didn't have no leads. All of a sudden, you know, things just not making sense. It's just not clear. Do we enforce the law or do we, 
you know, turn our heads. Oh, we didn't see a thing. I've seen that happen a lot of times. I don't know if y'all, you know, little innocent eyes, you know, little uh, civilian eyes ain't seen none of this type of stuff. Y'all think uh, the police are there for your protection or for fairness or law or legality. And that's a fallacy. That's an illusion, a delusion. All right. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, you got the Faustian bargain happening between the devil and Faustian. As you can see right here, um, Adam 22's no jumper is 40. So, of course, they got the 40 crypt here, who's also Faustian, creating a Faustian bargain right in front of our face. And then you've seen the you know consequences of such a bargain with the devil. This is what happens when you... Uh, you know, make deals with the devil. Eventually, uh, that's going to be your ass. And sometimes it's fast. Sometimes it's very slow. And this one, <laughs> oh, he was right out the door. Right out the door. Didn't get to uh, flex none of that, you know, at least not what or who he is right now. Maybe him and his afterlife and the walking dead, wherever they done placed his carcass, you know, whether it's a reanimated carcass and it's walking and it's, you know, stalking another place, you know, and trying to deceive the next, you know, y'all get to come across this video <laughs> and be blown away and amazed at how deep the rabbit hole could go. Let's get back into this video because I do have more to share because I care. Now, Milk 74 <laughs> has a very interesting connection to S Bone. Now let's see the, the very final moments that Milk, 7-4, and S-Bone had, you know, because Milk and S-Bone are apparently homies, you know, secret homies. Uh, Milk throws up the foe, you know, he throws up the funky. So apparently he cool with the funkies. He, he you know, he, even though that these are his direct ops, he go, oh, you know, the funkies are, you know, this dude contacted him and it was all good. And he was about to interview him, you know, behind his... Hoover homies back. The same Hoovers that just told him that um, they don't rock with him no more. They don't support him no more. They want him to stop claiming Hoover publicly. My shit plan for the fourth, bro. Uh, my plans kind of got messed up. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Niggas is facts, dude. Yes, sir. Who knew? Niggas that little Benz, that little BMW, that little motorcycle. You know, and doing all that extra extra out shit he was doing, you know, that got him the clout. You know, if he stops doing it, he stopped claiming Hoover. Then, you know, clearly no one's going to give a flying fuck what he's talking about because Milk ain't no goddamn body besides, a you know, a jacker. You know, he a damn um, a copycat. YouTube, it's your dog Milk. Some folk, it's your dog Milk. Seven four can a chest out like my nigga Bosco say. Yeah, that nigga milk a buster. YouTube, it's your dog milk. Seven four. What's the deal, YouTube? It's your dog milk. TV. 
I'm your lope that like to smoke dope. That like to smoke dope. You know, everything that we do, you know, who we are, milk absorbed our, you know, uh, <laughs> our mannerisms and just used it to, you know, secure his way in y'all faces as somebody who's allegedly going against Adam 22 when um, y'all know that ain't the truth. I got approached by a channel called Jubilee to play a mole in an episode on a channel. To play a mole in an episode on a channel. Six black men versus one secret white guy. Six black men versus one secret white guy are not allowed. Yo, what it is, MTV, it's your boy Tiger, AKA one of the greatest. Tiger, I got this name when I was young. My mom used to say I looked like Tiger Woods, so I just stuck with that. Grew up, not too tough. Parents got a Range Rover, CL600, doing it big. Not too much hard, but I'm still street. Yeah, it's T-Y-G-A. They say I'm not hood because I stay in the valley. They say I never been in the alley. I tell them cats, huh, I've been in the alley. Um, 22's on the truck, uh, living it up. 22's on the truck, uh, living it up. Huh. <clears throat> we got the special effect green screen right here, man. And this is gonna put you right into action with what we got cracking with the plasma. Let's get our first one up. Tiger! We need some females up here. Let's get our first one up. Tiger! We need some females up here. You need some females? Yeah. Well, you know what? You gotta be a baller to get the females. Let's see his moves. <laughs> you right now when it lands on something it will be an envelope the words that are in these envelopes they're gonna be exactly what the words that are in these envelopes they're gonna be exactly what you got a freestyle about okay tiger spin it spin it god's gift god's gift tatted on my knuckles basically because i believe i'm god's gift these are y'all envelopes now when the spotlight goes on your freestyle using the words that are in these envelopes Let's get this cracking. Give it up for my boy, Tiger! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, look, look. I come through and I give Nate that pressure. Huh, it's like a sumo wrestler challenging her basketball player. I'm a player, don't hate a player. Hate the game. I'm T.Y. Fly Guy. Who you supposed to be? I was just chilling in the CPT with my NPC. Uh, I don't know what the hell he was talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm sick when it comes to this rabbit dog. You can't see me. Uh, I spit six flu. Uh, and you can't get with me. Lyrically, physically, mentally, spiritually. It's like, look, people do whatever for the fame. Act a little different when they get it, but they money the same. Amiibo, I ain't even tripping. Had Amiibo, I got the sixth flow. What are you talking about? See, I do it, I move it when I move the crowd so hot. Give it up for Tiger! Sick, that's it. I couldn't even read that last word. So now, the winner is... Nathan Knight in the What is a misconception people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. Like me personally, I'm happy. We're not as monolithic as a lot of people would make us out to be. We are bankers, we're lawyers, we're doctors. We all originated from Africa. We all, because you're further away from the equator, it doesn't matter. Black is beautiful. I won. I won. Nathan Knight in the building! Tiger, you was cool, homie. You're not gonna get jacked, but I gotta keep the chain, cause I'll- Milk and Esbone are apparently homies, you know, secret homies, and um, he's not in really competition or opposition to Adam 22 in the least. And eventually, y'all gonna see them right back together, right back where they started.
So, yeah. Y'all let me know, uh, what was the purpose of S. Bone, 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 Bone? Right before he died, he started doing interviews like crazy. They got a posse up like hoes, all of them. They all got to run in packs like bitches. You feel me? I always been against that. When I found out that that's how niggas, that's what niggas said, Crip stands for, cowards running in packs, I always made sure. If you look at my walk on this YouTube, I tell all my homeboys, look out, nigga. Gone on, cuz. I got this here. I don't believe in that, nigga, because I don't want no excuse like that. That's what you motherfucking ass niggas is about. All you gay ass niggas. Y'all got to run together and suck each other dick, nigga. But it's one little old nigga from Seguin that'll rip your bitch ass apart, punk. Fuck all you dick sucking ass, gay ass, dick in the booty ass niggas, nigga. Eat my cock, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. In your asshole, nigga. Bust a big old juicy nut in your butt, nigga. What? Nasty bitch. From a homie. Man, Charles done said that about the game. He done said that. Woo, woo, woo. Guess what? At the end of the day, what said is said, what done is done, man. Come on, look. Grown hey. man shit. Grown man. He's hey. grown, I'm grown, he grown. You but grown, listen, man. Just, just the really shit he came in here and said. Yeah. He said if I can make up with anybody else, yeah, what he said. I can make up with my own. That's what he said. That's well, that was the really shit ever. That's man. the really yeah. shit he came in yeah. here and yeah. said. That was. That's real. Listen. And we ain't have to go to jail to do it, nigga. Come on, man. Now, we ain't have to go to jail to do it. I ain't going to jail. I got too much going on. And once again, that whole loco location, I know you mad. Oh, I know you mad. I know that Good morning, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, men and women, suckers and marks, lames and bitch ass niggas and hoe ass niggas and good niggas too. I just want to say, uh, little so did I, good. Another one out my way, another one bites the dust. S bone dead, another one bites the dust. <coughs> Celebrate. Well, I'm still living, y'all. You know, they've been saying, I guess, Lus, I ain't got to worry about Lus Sody no more. I ain't got to worry about the s ball no more. God takes out the trash. And plus, they was gang bangers. They kill people. They hurt people. Who gives a fuck to two gang bangers? One of them killed outside of his town. <coughs> Looked like they done the boy bad. And Lus Sody them driving drunk <laughs> down the wrong way. See, better, good thing God killed the two gangbangers and not two innocent people. So at least Lil' Soda and them died and not no innocent person because they were driving drunk under the influence down the wrong way and by y'all, by y'all, there they go. So may they rest in peace, may they burn in hell, and may their children suffer from their father's sins. And may their children suffer from their father's sins. That's just how the that's just how the way it is, that's where the way it is. And may their children suffer from their father's hands. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just I'm just on there making some motherfuckers mad. They gangbangers, homie. Them niggas kill people. Them niggas throw up the sea, the neighborhood, the, the two one, the three. They fucking gangbangers. So who gives a fuck if gang members tragically die? I know I don't. May they R.I.P. rest in piss and burn in hell. <laughs> May they rest in piss and burn in hell. Damn! Milk74 went on camera and said that S-Bone was going to interview with him, right? He contacted him, he follows him, he was looking to talk to him and he said that they might be related and all kind of other shit. West the deal with Smilk Gang, look, check it out. Another YouTuber has passed away. Another YouTuber has got smoke and it's crazy. Now let's break it down. So S Bone, if y'all know or if y'all don't know, was another YouTuber, a gang member YouTuber, bro, out of Los Angeles, who was actually from a rival community of mine. You feel me? He was out the photies, bro. Dark side forties. Now, I grew up, I matured, bro. So, and I know that once you go to prison, even in the county jail, you gonna get along with your ops. Everybody run black, that just is what it is, bro. So, like, I ain't had no issue with dude. Plus he wasn't in my generation. So, 
it was never no smoke towards him. He hit me up a few times. I had an auntie who lived on 43rd and Hoover, like in the early 2000s. My auntie named Mickey, Denzel and Ashley and Takora Mama. Uh, she used to live over there in the early 2000s. So he had hit me up and was like, bro, I think I'm your cousin. Whoa, 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 shit like that. You feel me? So, so did y'all just hear what he just said? Oh, conveniently, Milk not only is related to you know, sevenfold, however he got to sevenfold from wherever he was living at, right? He also had some space where he was on the four tray, on four tray over. So he was also in that section too, the same section that got annihilated by the 40s, you know, could go conveniently. But he seemed to be oblivious to this whole issue that the 40s got with the Hoovers and all that, right? Because they're not from the same generation, I think. I don't know how that supposedly, right? I think Milk is like, what, what is he, five to ten years younger than us, something like that? But none of that shit fucking matters, nigga. It's still, you, like, you inherit all this shit. It's kind of like an inheritance, you know? It's probably not nothing you want, but it's just what is there coming to South Central. Like, if you're really from South Central, you know you know what it is. Then this dude goes way off on the tangent rant and disrespecting everybody, disrespecting his homies. Oh, you know, gang banging is nothing. It's just a bunch of broke people and all this other type of shit. But, listen, uh, dead homies. We got actual dead homies. You know, homies that got killed as children. You know, a lot of us died as children. You know, we got friends and family, you know, and we know that you don't, you can't relate to that because you don't have no family. You were adopted by us. You don't look at us as family. <laughs> Soon as you got around, you just started to do whatever you wanted to do. After you used us for your survival on South Central, you got on and, you know, this is who you are now. You are the... Calcany Crip, the Calcany Hoover, right? Who's not good with his own homies. You just you in the same fucking boat as S Bone. Yeah, you just like S Bone. You even throw up the foes. I'm like, why is he throwing up the foe all the time when you from the seventies? Why don't you never throw up the seventies? I ain't seen you not one time throw up the seven. But you throw the foe up all the time conveniently, right? Foe. Uh, two plus two equals four. So you throwing up, you really throwing up 22. When, when you throwing up the four, you really throwing up 22. That's why I call you milk 22. Cause that's who you really are. You're milk 22. You're just like Adam 22. Well, y'all both interviewing people like, you know, y'all both doing the same things. Y'all got the same life. Everything that you do is in parallel to your maker, your boss, your you know, top G, which is Adam 22. You fool, you are funky. And that's why you wanted to interview the funky. You know, you saying that he contacted you. Why would he contact you? And he has a issue with the Hoovers. Everybody knows S-Bone had them issues with them Hoovers. Why would he reach out to you? Especially, we know that you don't pay for them interviews. The people you who you interview more likely pay you, but you don't offer to pay these people for no interviews. When, uh, hey, anybody who's ever went and interviewed, maybe we should ask that one, um, the, the crab you did dirty after you and him did an interview. The dude from the op, the other dude from the op hood, what was the dude's name? The fake, uh, the, the fake 6 0 nigga. And was he from some kind of gangster crip shit? That the Hoovers got into it with. You get into it with this dude. Have this public out out thingy about. Even though you interviewed him. right? You interviewed him and then you had a fake beef with him. You and then um, the, the, the playboy gangster crip nigga was having it out with him too. And you covered all that. I remember that. And, uh, and somebody asked me to do a, a reaction to that. And I actually... We'll uh, put that, all, all that stuff, I'll put that in that video so we don't make this video so crazy long. So, yeah, uh, when it comes to, um, you know, investigating, um, you know, 
journalism or a proper interview or coverage of an artist, uh, Milk has no fucking clue on what he's doing. You know, he's talking about how he's going to tell y'all, and I'm, I'm going to let y'all hear it out, but he's pretty much going to tell y'all how he don't do interviews he or he didn't do an interview with S Bone purely because S Bone was a so-called alleged snitch. Now he don't know none of that shit. Why wouldn't you bring him on and press the issue? You don't. You ain't confirm none of that shit. Matter of fact, none of these people who supposedly have the paperwork are willing to even read the paperwork or show the paperwork to you know accuse S Bone publicly. None of them did that. And now that he's conveniently dead, they never have to. <laughs> okay? So, yeah, he's conveniently dead because, literally because of that paperwork, more than likely. What was in that paperwork? <laughs> now we'll never know. Because they, they silenced the story. They killed the character off. All because of those critical questions and his audience and his fans not letting up. Or at least, I won't even say his fans, but... His critics was not going to let that shit go. <laughs> and they had nothing but ammo on that dude. So, you know, when um, you get the, the, the opportunity to score on a fool like that, it's easy pickings. He was, um, he was primed for the issue he got. And he definitely deserved it. Now, this could have easily been Milk Seven Foes out the dough taker reunion you know when he got the invite if it was you know instead of milk i mean instead of s-bone it was milk in that interview you know where where do y'all think milk would have ended up <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling y'all hey milk hey yeah you get them um invites <laughs> hey, hey don't y'all ain't y'all motto over there y'all don't turn nothing down y'all y'all take y'all accepting all fades and all that right that that's what y'all try to put on us and tell us that's what how we supposed to be running shit. <laughs> you know. However, the truthful mat in the matter is California don't run shit here. But California don't run nothing here. Y'all niggas don't run shit here. You know, in fact, it's kinda opposite, technically, if we really think about it. <laughs> and a lot of my elders know better than to listen to you fools. And allow themselves to get, you know, stabbed in the back and front and sides and all that type of bullshit. So, I'm just telling you and all of you that we are aware of you. We know the truth. Don't try to lie. Don't try to hide. Because even from hundreds of miles away, I can see into your soul. You fool. Anyways, uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Milk 7 Foe. He's talking about S-Bone is his brother. They four finger banging together. Yeah, you also know what kind of brothers they are. Freemasonic brothers. It's exactly the same type of brothers that Vlad is. The same type of brotherhood that Adam is. And the rest of them. All the Crips are known to participate in Freemasonry. That is their thing. And that's always been their thing. And not only just them, uh, a lot of the, the, the Freemason lodges split into two different lodges. Uh, the York Rite and another kind of rite. You know, there's all kind of rites. There's all kind of degrees and levels to this thing. And once you choose your path, you, you know, experience certain things within this ladder. Now, the thing about the ladder is that you know, if you choose, you know, particular paths, you're going to have particular experiences. Now, I know better into entering in a lodge without doing my homework, doing some research on your organization, doing my due diligence. See, y'all fools, y'all go in there. I don't know nothing about nothing. My friend just told me if you join the lodge, you could get some money. You could get a promotion in your job. You might not have to bend over and give them no ass. Oh, no, no, no. All you have to do is come in the lodge and, you know, <laughs> you know, do some freaky things in here and do some rituals, you know. <laughs> Don't worry about the details. The devils are in the details. So let's get back over here to uh, Milk. And Milk's going to finish telling us about 
S Bone here and you know his whole hiccup on that interview and why that didn't come out. No, no, I didn't really talk to him like that, but we knew who each other was. He was following me. I was about to interview this dude. I'm not even gonna lie. I had talked to him about an interview. He had hit me up, bro, about an interview. And I hit people up, not to get permission, because like I said, I'm going to do what I want to do if I want to do it, when I'm going to do it. Because I don't tell nobody how to go get their dough. And I know a lot of people that get dough with their ops, their rivals, their enemy goals. So nobody can't tell me what I was going to do. And then I'm like, for the betterment of the community, I don't want to see no senseless ass violence for no reason. Game banging, that's what it is. Senseless violence for no fucking reason. Right? Wrong. A bunch of majority broke people beefing for no reason it's crazy but you know i was gonna interview this dude we was just about to log in with a date i was just about to set up the date and the time bro but then that video come out with some paperwork saying some paperwork was on his name now what made me is a little cautious because i seen a comment before i don't really remember where but i seen a comment somewhere saying yeah bro s -bone, you know, he a rap, bro. They sent the paperwork from the pen. He gave statements or some shit like that. But I never paid it no attention. Because once you get successful and do YouTube, rap, whatever, you ain't got to do none of that. But once you get successful, the hate going to come. So once his video come out, though, I hit him up. I instantly sent it to him like, what's up with this? You going to have to address this, bro. Before I do anything, like, so... So it's been brought to my attention that C Mac father is some snitching. Now, when I interviewed this individual, that came up. I said, bro, what's up with your son saying you some type of rat, lo? And he like mumbled and said something. I really couldn't even understand what he said, bro. But he never came out and said, yeah, I'm a snitch, lo. He never told me that. But you know, I'm the Gilligan Slayer. I was doing my homework after I figured this out and found that out, bro. So y'all just heard Milk 22. Milk 22 did an interrogation, a.k.a. Uh, uh, um, what they call it, interview. So he did the interview investigation and, you know, interrogation. He pressed the Brookshire mob boss, the vice lord, who's c -Max daddy or mama, whatever, Right. So <laughs> this this individual, you try to press him on your interview interrogation. Right. Maybe pay. Maybe not. I think you're you know, you one of these guys who don't pay people, which is crazy beyond me. Right. Uh, so you try to interrogate or intimidate the Brookshire boy or Brookshire boss. <laughs> my bad. So the boss. He go, <laughs> fuck out of here. He, he mumbles some incoherent shit to you. And you go, I didn't hear that. And you just fake like you didn't hear it or whatever, right? Now you're on here after the fact doing another video. Pretty much going to your, your, your audience and saying, oh, I didn't know. Even though you just said you knew and you tried to press it and you didn't. You ran out of gas, and the Gilligan hunter, hunter couldn't slay the Gilligan. The Gilligan hunter didn't turn up to slay the Gilligan. He let the Gilligan go by and spread all the lies and get, you know, a portion of your subscribers to subscribe. So how many of the Gilligan stands got misled to Brookshire boss because of you? And then you turn around and say, oh, I'm not going to interview uh, S Bone, your direct op, you know, y'all both throwing funkies together, right? Well, y'all gonna pose together and throw funkies? I was gonna schedule a phone interview. Is that what y'all gonna do? Because <laughs> you couldn't interview that dude in person. Yeah, right. He's gonna interview S Bone in person. <laughs> and and look here, look, I don't believe it. And even if I did believe it, look here, what type of brothers are related? Y'all are, y'all, you know, Freemasons, so clearly y'all are related. And y'all both throwing up the funky, so I can see the, I can see the similarities. I can see it. Y'all a bunch of four funky, four finger bangers, 
You know, and that's why you like Mozzie and all this other shit. Because you're a big four finger banger. You 22 with the fingers. Okay? So, Milk 22, the Jew. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and if you got on here, you pressed the line, and you didn't say, hey, Brookshire boss, I know that you're a boss, a big boss, but I know you heard me when I pressed you, right? Now, if you don't want to respond, we just going to have to accept that as, you know, you accepting it as true. Because it is a rumor out here about you. It's up to you to, you know, prove your innocence in this uh, public arena. The court we're having on you because we're holding open public court. We're politicking on your name right now, fool. And you ain't had no decision. So since we need to uh, figure it out before we go any further in this interview... Or before I even interview you, fool. You didn't do that. <laughs> you just let the Brookshire Mafia boss come on there and try to see Mac. And y'all both had a little kumbaya over how Gilligan C. Mac is. Versus you. You know, Captain Gilligan. <laughs> Captain Gilligan and Gilligan's mates. That's what you are. You're Captain Gilligan. The, uh, the booty hunter blowjob is Captain Hook. <laughs> Captain Gilligan, Captain Hook, and um, uh, I'm, I'm going to make some more nicknames for the rest of you. Oh, Fro Froggy, <laughs> Mr. Froggy. <laughs> oh, all the fucking hells. Oh, yeah. Uh, Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know, uh, which I think we're going to keep on going. We're going to hop right back into this, y'all. <laughs> we ain't done. I still never even got to really see the paperwork, the documentation where they said he told or he gave a statement or cooperated. I still never seen that, but I never did the interview. I needed that situation to get cleaned up first. And blah, blah, blah. Mainly, he was getting that, hey, he was planning on doing an interview with this dude. Now, as bone, no matter if you're related or not, and all this other shit, this is still your direct op. <laughs> this dude is your direct op from the 40s. Okay? So, he a neighborhood crip from the 40s. And the 40s are known for wiping out the, I think they were like four trays or something, but they wiped out a Hoover set that used to, you know, reside in the 40s. So, there's a big, there's a there's a nasty disdain that obviously the Hoovers will have towards that area for, you know, wiping out their homies and taking it over. Now, I got uh, some other stuff uh, to go over with y'all as far as, you know, just the, the whole... Um, the whole psyop, you know, because if if any of this shit right gets on a so-called mass or major news media outlet, you know for sure it's a fake, it's a stage, it's charades, just like the parade that I exposed out in Wisconsin. Okay, now this is kind of similar. It's um, a, a situation that happened up north. So this guy had went up north and. <laughs> Ended up literally going up north, never to return. Now, however, there was a lot of so-called suspicious, you know, circumstances around this guy's alleged death. Okay? S-Bone, a.k.a. Bones, because if you put that S in its proper place, it would just say Bones. So this, <laughs> the play on words is ridiculous with this one, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, and um, if it's a bones, it's a skull, right? So we got the skulls, and this one, um, it looks like it got a masculine skull. It looks like it's a male skull, so, you know, just like Adam-22, you know, it's a, you know, masculine skull. And just like Adam-22, you know, this one was willing to do some freaky things. Him and his homies, you know, they like to push motherfucking shit in. 
You know, they like to push a nigga shit in. The shitter. They like to go in the back door. So, it's no wonder he got backdoored. Because, you know, obviously, he backdooring fools. And, you know, all, you know, the crabs, they love the backdoor. As far as this nigga Ice. Anybody that know Ice out here in the city, from the hood, from the neighborhood car. They know that nigga's a, he's a homosexual. I like booty. You know what I'm saying? That nigga like booty. That nigga take booty, rape niggas, do all that. Nigga, these are facts. I don't do the clickbait and waste too much of y'all's time. So, a couple of days ago, S-Bone was calling someone a faggot and calling someone a homosexual and saying that he messes with boys and whatever, right? Um, we never got no receipts for that, you know? And you make an accusations on people with no receipts, okay? But as far as you go, well, let me just play what he said and then y'all tell me, you know, what y'all think about it, you know what I'm saying? Let's just play, this, this is s bone right here. Let's see. play it one more time because I know what I heard but this is S-Bone the one who was uh talking about someone's a homosexual and somebody's a faggot and someone fucks boys and blah 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 when they was in jail or something whatever he was saying he, he had no receipts for it so we can't verify what he's saying but this is him so let's just see what he's saying and things that he participated in when he's in jail okay Okay, so y'all heard it. I wanted to play it again so y'all can really, really hear it. So, um, I mean, there we have it. You know, that's that's bone. You know, the, the guy who talks bad about faggots and homosexuals and, you know, men on men. He was talking bad about them, saying some shit, right? So, but it turns out that these are things that he says that he participates in when he's in jail, okay? So, you know, um, I don't have nothing against gay people. Yo, uh, tell me, tell me, man, please. Uh, tell you, I didn't just see Crick Cave in, in Five Five Crip with the gay crip from Fort Worth, Texas. The out of the clouds of gay crib. Did I just see Crick Cavey with the great gay crib? <laughs> bye bye crib. Bye bye crib. That they didn't take they with the gay crib now. No, they did the out of the clouds of gay crib. Tony Weary. The, the crib with his ass with his shit have pushed in. The, the dick taking crib. 
the crib caving. Come on, cuz. Fly by a crib, y'all with the dick taking crib. Oh, I knew I should have been a blood. I knew it. Everything in me said I should have been a blood. I should have never got down with this crib shit, cuz. God damn. Now you were trying to tell me about the snoover sexual. Now here it is, you with a snoover sexual. You walk around with a hoover on your motherfucker head, fly my crib, and you taking a picture with Tony Woolridge. Tony Woolridge say he take dick. He like dick in his ass and his back, and you nigga locking seeds with him. That's why I quit that gang banging shit. It just didn't make sense. The nifty nickel, it likes the pickle. I'm sorry, whatever it is. I just knew that gang banging shit just wasn't with it. I'd rather be on phonium, but on phonium over there. They're not they're on phonium doing the same shit. <laughs> Wherever you look. You ain't, it, it just because, just because he hear a, a, a nigga on the down low, don't mean that, you know what I'm saying, he can't be politicking, you know what I'm saying, if, he, if that's something he want to, you know, want to stand up on. Right? Wrong. But let me tell you something about prison politics. When you be on certain yards, certain level foes and all that, snitches is not allowed and faggots is not allowed. Niggas is fags, you know what I'm saying? They get bust on, niggas get them out of here, they off the yard, fast. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga that's a fag, he kind of meet the same fate as a nigga that's a snitch in the pen. So y'all make sure y'all remember that, you feel me? But this nigga Ice, this nigga Ice is a cold nigga, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'ma call out all the homies. You know what I'm saying? I'ma do another video because you niggas not regulating nobody. Y'all letting cuz slide around the hood. This nigga gonna sacrifice the homies and all that. That's how I know this nigga 600 not really from 60s. Cause if you really from 60s, he wouldn't be on a picture with this nigga or on a video with this nigga because that nigga Ice is a cold nigga. You know what I'm saying? He got the hood in a cold twist right now, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother thing. You know what I'm saying? But this nigga Ice, I hope you see this video. I know you is, nigga. On Nate Book Crip, nigga, you a buster, cuz on hood. Nigga, I been in your DM. Nigga, I been harassing you, nigga, trying to pull up on your politics and see what's up with you, nigga. Foley Crip, nigga. I did everything and, and exhaust all my remedies, cuz, as a Crip, as a real nigga from the hood, as a stand-up nigga, I did all my shit, everything I'm supposed to do, cuz, on Nate Book Crip. You try to come and put some fake-ass paperwork out on me and all that old shit, cuz, why y'all didn't read that shit on air, cuz? Why y'all why y'all didn't read that shit on air? Why you have to hand it to this nigga, uh, Officer Love Boy? You feel me? Y'all could have read it on air. It's two niggas right there. But guess what? I got the paperwork right here. I got the paperwork right here. I got the paperwork right here. Paperwork right here. I'm not gonna read it. You don't find that suspicious? So watch our back door, y'all. <laughs> oh, cause the 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 door wide open for them crabs. You know they back door wide open, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, with all that being said, y'all. You know, there's a lot of so-called issues and. Is uh community aka the funkies. So the funky crabs was pressing an issue, a fake issue, right? Because they never really pressed the issue besides bopping their gums and flapping their gums online like hoodie from the hood. You know, somebody who knew where this fool laid, knew where he stayed, right? You know where you where this dude's at. You he, he done came over to you. You he invited you over to his home. So you know where he was at. But when you felt a way about his paperwork, you got online and ran your mouth about it to defend some funky from French fry, from the fries, from the fried, fried fives, from the five, seven. No, no, no. This dude is a five, seven. It, you know, the seven. Okay. So the five, seven. ODM snitch, you know, who's also a police uh, officer, agent, whatever y'all want to call him. He kicks it with pedophiles and snitches and all that shit. And it's funny it's because they all point at each other. Oh, you kick it with snitches and pedophiles. I'm like, well, all y'all do that when y'all kick it with 
out on 22, who's a, who's a, um, a known confidential informant. You know, he got the feds on his, you know, with him on his platform, literally. You know, he brought a uh, fed fit up there, who's an actual fed. You know, and um, the entire interview, he was praising the feds and, you know, <laughs> praising um, you know, law enforcement. That's what uh, Adam 22 is about, man. Adam 22 is just another uh, satanic sodomite just like Charleston White, you know. Same motherfuckers. They don't give a damn about nothing besides, you know, pushing the satanic agenda. That's what they're, that's what they're here for. And y'all think it's about money, even though these, these fools are, you know, beyond rich. It's not about money. It's about souls it's about you know corrupting the masses that's what adam 22 um the jew is here to do okay he's here to taint and corrupt the masses with all and everybody who he brought through no jumper so when y'all sitting there praising these fools that and then it's, it's another crazy sick ass dumb shit right i got all these dudes Right. Well, I don't have all these dudes, but a lot of people so-called breaking their neck to defend Milk 74 and Milk 74 is fake uh, crusade against Adam 22. You know, Milk 74 is also, you know, Adam 22. They're both one and the same. Their names match up in Dramatria. I proved that uh, their lives are literally in parallels to one another. You know, everything that Adam does, Milk is doing and vice versa. OK, Um yeah, so, that, oh, for, you know, I, I could go into that, but I ain't going to waste my time. Because, listen, uh, if, if I do all this other stuff, it'll take hours. You know, there, there's just so much fuckery in this crappy, stupid script, you know, and these bullshit ass characters. You know, anybody who has, you know, I, I order of some sense, common knowledge would see right through these idiots. From, from literally miles away. I'm, I'm literally, you know, hundreds of miles away at this point. Something like that. <laughs> About 100 miles away. Something like that. Uh, I'm very far away. And I can still see the fuckery and the bullshit from here. And I can see right into these motherfuckers' uh, empty vacuum meat sacks. And tell you exactly what they are and what they're about. And who they kick it with and what they got going on. I can see all that from here you know so anyways yeah so y'all all could run your mouths about trying to defend these sodomites you know all of the crabs this fuck the crabs um and on top of that you know the the you know the entire community is so-called black community is whack you know i don't i don't really want shit to do with the black community to be honest um you know, I am Tyrone. I'm literally Tyrone. So y'all know why they clone Tyrone? Because Tyrone is the truth. I'm the truth. React to N NHB video. Nah, I don't want to react to that. Well, let's get into it. We about to react to these tweakers. The tweaker, y'all already know what that is. Like a crystal method. I'm going to react to this tweaker that made a video about me. <laughs> I got to give y'all something entertaining to look at. So let's go. Let's check it out, though, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had my days. I, I was off powder before. I did all that when I was younger. Though. You understand, yeah. yeah. The real gremlin. You smoking a cookie pack? That's crazy. I'm smoking on a click pack. X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X I can rip you to a shredder, cheddar cheese, there's not a better MC than me, I'll be rabbit, bitch, sing like a bee, float like a butterfly, what am I, so what if I cut a guy, did I stun a guy, leave you punch drunk from lunch truck to shelter, you never felt the wrath, the belt, the skelter, melt you, got the belt for the welterweight champ, you got in with a fake stand, garbage bag full of clothes, still pulling hoes, Rip you from head to toe, from leg to bullet hole. <laughs> Next gun, pull it slow. And name it the free world before you let it go. Instead of, oh, I just shot my dick head. And yes, you do got a big head. What happened to the milk? It went bad. <laughs> the milk got bad. Yeah, yeah, this NHB Suwat reaction, bro. You. Ah, they can't fuck with me, bro. <laughs> 
Can they be so wild? I'm be thinking you work for the police station too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm be thinking you like a detective for real, bro. Like I ain't even gonna lie. You a weirdo. I have seen your video. You didn't make videos on me. I seen them Gilligan videos. But I'm like, who is this Gilligan? You know what I learned from looking at your Gilligan video? Is the people who look Gilligan on the thumbnail of the video or the thumbnail look Gilligan? I'm not even gonna watch the video. I'm not even gonna look at it. Period. No, because it's Gilligan shit, and I already know because I could forecast the Gilligan act. React to N NHB video. Nah, I don't want to react to that. XSX soup. I ain't gonna lie, man. That video was fucking hilarious, bro. That video you just made is fucking hilarious. I want, honestly, I want everyone to watch your video. I put your, I put the video in the thumbnail. I'll... I, I made that clear with everybody. The only interview we've ever paid for was milk, and we gave him seventy-four dollars. <laughs> I I made that clear with everybody. The only interview we've ever paid for was milk. What? And we gave him seventy-four dollars. Which I'm not even gonna lie, and I and Milk probably would never fuck with us again if I say this, but we didn't really give him seventy-four dollars. We gave him like fifty-five dollars. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh! A nifty fifty-five dollars. A nifty fifty-five dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it fifty-five straight on hood. We gave fifty-five dollars. I thought it was worth it. It's the truth. It's the truth. The devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Be honest. Blue eyes, breadwinner, they can vouch for that. They help pay for that. Like, we all ship in. That's what I'm saying. The YouTube Streets podcast, that's a partnership between all three. I'm trying to get that podcast, like, its own thing, you know? And the rock sees you took the time to make a little sign that says something about Hunter... What does your sign say anyway? It doesn't matter what your sign says! We hate that cultural appropriation shit. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying! Like that, I, it's just not, I don't know, man. The N word, white people say the N word, I still don't, I don't. That's why your Gilligan ass won't put a real picture on there when you woofing like a clown. At least, at least neighborhood Suwu, he straight down who you can tell. At least, at least neighborhood Suwu, he straight down who you can tell. We got three different people making three different videos on me today, bro. Come on. Yeah, bro, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Because I got five videos in the in the cut ready to fucking pop out. They don't want to fuck with me. They want to talk about people nodding out. I'm a screenshot hoarder. I hoard shit, dude. I have Google Drives filled with screenshots. And like the clown. Gilligan's out here to do two treats. So I'm trying to turn the Gilligan's into normal civilians. That's all I'm trying to do, bro. New age plug. That's why your Gilligan ass won't put a real picture on there when you woofing like the clown. Yeah, Every, everybody. Bro, yeah, that's where we were going with the gill or chill. Was like, and you know, civilians don't rap. Civilians. Stupid motherfuckers. civilians don't rap. But you came over here trying to work with blue eyes. But you came over here trying to work with blue eyes. No jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm in here with Compton's very own AD. How you What's doing, up, man? man? Blue eye. You already know. What's going on? Blue no, eye. No, 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 I call you that. You blue eye. Blue eye low. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't called yourself that yet, though. Bro, you want to know what happened, actually? You just reminded me is that, uh, so the Stink Team and yeah, Draco yeah, yeah, the Ruler yeah. currently on trial. Yeah. And they fucking, 
brought up like a big picture of them all together and the prosecutor like brought the picture up and then he goes he, you know to prove that they're a gang and then he also points at me and goes he's not in the same team this is adam graham mason he's a youtuber and podcast <laughs> <laughs> and and that moment when i heard about that i was like god damn i'm so glad that i never like said I yeah was a because part of anything, if you, you take know? the name that i gave you you for sure going down for real if i take yeah. that name somebody's pulling up no problem i'm gonna be a target man niggas pulling up already anyway <laughs> you ain't shit yeah, ain't goofy no ass fucking dudes like if i if i take that name on then all of a sudden i'm gonna have to fuck, i'm at real dudes pulling up yeah, yeah. Hell. That's, it's, we're just gonna keep it a little insider man yeah leave yeah, it like yeah. that and shit that <sighs> shit crazy you really wanted to lock in with blue eyes so bad what is the big fucking deal that's not back door bro civilian tip Civilian tip number one. When your homie gets an opportunity with somebody. When your homie gets an opportunity with somebody. I, I made that clear with everybody. The only interview we've ever paid for was milk. I, I made that clear with everybody. The only interview we've ever paid for was milk. So... Right now, we know the cheap ass white boy paid up. It's not called backdooring. That's civilian tip number one. Write that down, cuzzo. Bullshit. Bullshit. I had three different people make three fucking different videos on me. One video was hilarious. One video is worth watching the whole 45 minutes. Shout the XXX swoop. Shout the XXX swoop. Because at least he's fucking entertaining. The other two fucking goofies. They're not, bro, they're not going to fucking make it, bro. The dude with the 36 subs did fucking better than the motherfucker with the 6,000 subs. My nigga. <laughs> I, you know, the title of the video is New Age Powderhead. Ha! Got he! Got he! Very clever. New Age Powderhead. New oh, New Age Powderhead exposed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean I had my days. I, I was off powder before. I did all that when I was younger. Though. You understand, yeah. yeah real gremlin. Give that guy some views, man. Give that guy some views. That you know that's what's up. He calls me a, a culture vulture. He says I'm a YouTube plant. It'd be funny if Eric Cuzzo does a reaction to that video. That'd be funny. That'd be, there you go, Eric. There's some ammo right there. I'm going to give you, there's some game right there, bro. So listen, <laughs> I'm going to, you know, bring this into conclusion because I'm getting tired just, you know, going over and over through all this stuff. This, this is not, not even all of it, <laughs> okay? There's still multiple interviews I have not gone over. To just go over all the nonsense. And we're not even going to do all that. I'm not even going to torture y'all with that. Because the same people who got S-Bone is the same people who got Tupac. Probably even the same people who got Jesus. Listen, the same people who got Nipsey Hussle. The same people that got Biggie. The same people that got um, Indian Red Boy. The same people that got Black Boy. Same people. The takers. They came and took them. They. So. We gonna leave that where it's at. Y'all let me know if y'all want to go deeper. Because listen. I, I have answers to who they are. Where they're from. What they want. And what they're pushing. I have answers to that. How badly do you want to know? Because you're going to have to pay attention. I've, I've taken, what is it, hours, days, months, years of research to like, could come to these conclusions. How I see things, the way that I see it, I put in the pain, I put in the work. This is just one of many videos I have for y'all. Make sure y'all tap in and subscribe. Y'all already know new content is on the way. Get the truth, because the truth is often better. I am your friend.
from the real ends. <laughs> it's the dog. Welcome back. It's the. Oh.